Tonight, I want to talk to you about something that is, has come out in science, and um, it really struck me because I, I'm, I, I really study a lot of the science and everything is coming out now. Um, I have my favorite scientists, and I pray for them, but they, there's a lot of information coming out now. Just like Daniel said and Isaiah said, at the, in the end times, information will be like coming like crazy. And he said the wise ones will, will shine like the, the noonday sun in the last days, you know. And even in a book of Enoch, it talks about that, the shiny ones, you know. And um, so I was listening to the, the newest stuff out there because I know that um, there are certain scientists that actually know what's really going on in the physics realm, but it's classified. So what I have to do is I have to listen to them for hours until they make a mistake and say something they shouldn't have said. And then that's when I, I take, keep track of these through and then I can make a, the real track of what's really going on because they're, they even got to the place where they're calling this the God particle. And I, and I want to tell you that they said, they said there's this quantum uh, mechanics and there's quantum physics that has to do with entanglement. And I go, ooh, ooh, okay. So I looked up and Einstein said, oh, that, entangle, that entanglement stuff, he goes, it's spooky. Okay, I think, okay, if, if Einstein is saying it's spooky, I want to know more. Because, I mean, who's ever heard of Einstein be, uh, being spooked? Okay, so what he said was, see, what, what happens is, is we, science is observation. And through observation, we gather data. And as a PhD, we're not allowed to come to conclusions until we have all the data and we report the data. And so you take an oath that you cannot be opinionated unless you say, this is my educated opinion or whatever. Okay, so science is supposed to just gather data. But when I find out that they're, they're holding data back, that's like lying. Okay, so when something starts to support the narrative of the Bible, they're really careful, like, well, we don't want to get religious. Well, no, you're supposed to be gathering data. So Einstein, you know, he, even the nurse that took care of him, she would talk to him about God and are you a believer? You know, and he was in the hospital. And are you a believer? Do you believe in God? He goes, yeah, I do. He says, in fact, I'm trying to catch him at his work right now. And he was working out these formulas. And he says, I, I think I found them. Because he could see the manifestation of these, uh, these molecular structures and, and the, nu the nuclear and the physics and all that. And it, it's interesting to me that, that when you listen to scientists, they aren't anti-God at all. The hypothesis of the way that we were formed as far as, um, you know, all, the, all the, the junk we learned. I didn't come from a monkey. You know, I'm not talking about that. That guy actually admitted that he was wrong on his deathbed. But without, you know, CNN won't publish that. So, all right. So, so entanglement. Einstein had made his formulas and he was trying to figure out how he can communicate what was really going on in the unseen based on the observed. Okay, that's like, that's like really not always a good thing if you're trying to find God because God is a spirit, right? Okay, but when you get into to quantum physics and, and quantum mechanics and uh, these things that have to do with nuclear and magnetic field and gravity, a gravitational field. Um, when you start looking into that, you see that they hide a lot of stuff. So I look at, at I can name all the scientists, we're gonna do that tomorrow morning. I went and found all their stuff. They're like $700 for their books because the government grabbed everything and they went, they went to Lockheed, they went to uh, different programs, black programs, and so they're there. And some of them have passed away. So you get their books and you're like, uh, now I know why the CIA grabbed them. That's why I know that the scientists were grabbed and they kind of went off the chart. You know, they, they're, not, they're, not, they're not on the grid anymore. But their books were, were, you could see that the government wanted these people. And that's what they did, and we're going to learn tomorrow, that's what they did in Germany. They took all of the 1,500 scientists and they brought them over. And they formed all these agencies, and we're, we're going to talk about that tomorrow. But getting back to entanglement, what happens when, when Einstein is trying to figure out 
what happens when you start to accelerate? What is the experience that the person has? And then what is the experience that the observer has? And what does light do? Is it a wave or is it a particle? And the answer is yes. <laughs> and this, this starts to come out with entanglement. So we, the reason I'm saying all this is because the Lord, in my chair, when I had done my 40 courses for the year, they're done. You, you won't even get through them this year. I dare you. <laughs> they're not even out yet. The, the ones you, you know, this is, this is like, I, so I said, okay, I'm done. He goes, no, you're not. You're going to do a course called the Entanglement of Yahweh. Wow. Wow. And I was like, yes, I am. <laughs> Why? Because it felt like rocket fuel. And I thought, you know what? The church needs this. The church needs to know that God has your back and he has your front and he has everything. He has, he has everything. He's, he is in control of your life. He's not in control of the world because they don't give him control. So the God of this world, small g, he's as powerful as you let him be. He needs slapped around. He needs to be taught a lesson. That's why if in my meetings, you know, like I have all the students up here now, but I, these, when, when I, when I, when I tell you that I have seats for witches, I am totally serious. And the more witches I can get up here and I'm, I say, do you need a crystal ball? You want me to buy you one? I will, I would say, whatever you're doing back there is not working. We had so many witches in some of our meetings. I, I could tell you stuff that would just blow you away. And I said, no, come on up here. It's not working. Work, go do it right here in the front row where you're closer to me. And I'll just keep preaching. And they get saved. They come up, the demons, they say, come up, and the demons start leaving them. And they get saved. Why? Because we need somebody to stand up and be a leader that's not afraid of the enemy. You see, the enemy is our enemy because he doesn't side with God. It's not siding with us. It's siding with God, our God, right? Our God, our God. We're his people, right? Okay, if you're entangled with him, what does that look like? Well, I believe in this generation you're going to see it, but your children are going to live it. Because what happens is, is they, you know, you know the formula, this happened on the other side. I, I didn't, I wasn't this smart, but when I was on the other side and I came back, I had that near-death experience, I understand, I understood a lot of these formulas and I don't know how. I came back with all the wires right. I understood things that I didn't understand before simply by having this experience. There was nothing I did, there was nothing I did to deserve it. There's, I don't know, I can't tell you I didn't change my diet. Something happened in my brain. My organic brain could process things. I could look at things, build them, take them apart, make them better, and never touch them. I could look at a manual that was 1,500 pages, read it and memorize it, and then go become a pilot. And learn instruments. I could read the Bible and remember all the scripture verses. I don't even need my notes. Okay, so something happened to my organic brain. And what it was, was I realized what this generation needs is a leader. But the leader is someone who just says, listen, we can do this together. Not somebody who's just going to be a hero and a Hollywood star, because that's not popular anymore to be a Hollywood star. (laughs) 